God said, Joshua, this book of the law will not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein. So he says, speak the word. Why did God say to Joshua to continuously say the word of God? Some of you think that, that God meant to read the scriptures. No. God simply said, Joshua chant the word. Chant the word. Chant the word. Now, the men of the underworld, they do enchantment. Enchantment is demonic. But we chant the word. And it says, this book of the word, law, law should not depart out of your mind. Meaning, you should continuously, consistently, and constantly chant in the word of God. Because the word that you chant goes to create and activate your imagination and then he says meditate day in day and night so he was saying Joshua Joshua you are not just a man of day Success is not a function of the day. Success is a combination of day and night. Which of course gives a man the power to control time. Remember, time according to the book of Genesis was the transaction between darkness and light. God called light out of darkness. He called darkness night and called light day. He divided darkness from light and then he calls it the first day. Which of course is time. And then God says to Joshua, this transaction of speaking the word is for the day. The transaction of meditating on the word is for night. Now, the night is for the dream world. He was referring to that your soul ought to be loaded with the images of God's word. So by the time you step into the night dreams, you are in charge of the scripts that have been written in the realm of dreams, getting ready to manifest in Kronos called time. So God was simply saying, Joshua, your night sleep is not for rest. Your night sleep is for meditation. What is meditation? The capacity to ascend into the realms of dreams and implant images, create images, come on, of God's intentions and plans, loading those images in the realms that control physical manifestations. So God began to tell Joshua, it is not just about your physical body. Now this is the engagement required for your physical existence, for your physical experience. Engage verbally with the world because your emotions will not be in alignment. You can't trust your emotions. You can't trust your feelings. You can't trust your thoughts. You can't trust your visuals, but you can trust the words that you say. In as much as your words don't agree with your thoughts. Oh, come on. Your words may not agree with what you feel in the moment, but what stands in the realms of the spirit is the words that you say. You have 24 hours for a mystical reasons. The reason why I might be using the word mystical is because we are yet to tap into these realities. 12 hours are for your physical evaluations and uh, 
shake and uh, observation to see to evaluate to teach to me how effective you were in your dream world Alisa Fahira Eliao Savaline Meros for the hour has come the Lord says my people will live more in the consciousness of the dream world more than they live in this physical prison we have become too and more tangible more real more connected to this physical illusion we, we, we're more intentional so when we wake up around 5 a.m when we wake up at 6 a.m when we wake up at 7 a.m we are more conscious more aware of this physical illusion more than we are in charge of the dream world where we came from in the early mornings we depart back into that dimension ignorantly and we went there with no agenda with no vision with no plan just like you have a routine here in this physical illusion you know what to do when you wake up you know what time to wake up why do you wake up at a certain time you travel from the dream world and wake up at the appointed time you wanted to wake up you know why because you have been schooled you have schooled yourself you have mastered the physical dimensions but we have not yet mastered the world beyond this physical world so god said this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth in the day but in the night oh travel in the meditation Oh, oh, the because when you enter the dimension of dreams, they are visions, they are images, they are scripts, they are events being loaded, being acted. They are actors in the realms. Once they act it, you see it. If it's an accident, you will see the accident. You will see it being acted, waiting to be loaded into a timeline. And if you do nothing about it, some of you don't say it, that's why it happened. Satan withholds it from you. Uh, that's why I warn you, don't fornicate. Your sexual intercourse will clear. Listen to you, have no idea. Flesh can mess you up. Uh, flesh can deplete your capacity to capture realities beyond here. Flesh. Satan knows, he knows very well. That if he can subject you under flesh, under grace, 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 flesh, grace, grace, you would die spiritually. Your mind will be carnally set. So your mind is now carnally set. To be carnally minded. You're dead, meaning you can't see beyond the physical realm. So you're dead. That's the deadness of a carnal mind. Your inability to notify, to note, to recall, to remember the happenings in the dream world. Because your mind is Satan carnality. But the Bible says to be spiritually minded is life. What is life? Light. In him was life. And the life was the light. Of men so when we have life it becomes light in the realms of dreams to behold the visions of God the Bible says the scriptures are living and active so when you chant scriptures what are you doing you're activating life you're opening portals you're creating an atmosphere are you hearing me now you see you don't break into the realm of dreams effectively and take charge of that dimensions without creating the word of God the atmosphere that is controlled loaded with the living word of God I told some folks before I said we travel through the word the scriptures are
gateways into the spirit world scriptures are not just you know empty words they're, they they are gateways to encounters and god says don't you ever leave one day of your life without first chanting the living active word of god because you are getting ready to travel in the next couple of hours 24 hours is divided by two you have 12 hours for your physical experience 12 hours for your soulish dream world experience so what you do in the physical goes a long way to determine how effective you are in the dream world a dog was chasing you in the dream and you were running cows were chasing you in the dream and you say you i had a nightmare no you didn't have a nightmare god gave you a vision but it's just like your spirit was not strong enough to handle the powers that we are against you in that dimension so the book of God's word is for chants of the spirit they are the mystical codes that unlock dimensions in the atmosphere so every time you open the scriptures and you begin to read the scriptures you're not just reading the scriptures you are chanting the scriptures unlocking the scriptures unlocking the mansions of god loading the, gl the, the glory the frequencies and the vibrations that the power and the anointing of the holy ghost into your day into your atmosphere and into your dream world so that when you sleep you wake up and begin to walk on those fire those declarations that you have loaded into your dream world don't you ever let the devil allow you say things or cause you to say things that are not right because if you said the wrong words in your physical experience during your day these are the things that will form the monster that you will fight in your dream world we increase in spiritual ranks when we capture certain depths in the reins of your sin when we elevate into that encounter something is captured in the reins nobody enters the frequencies the electricity of zion and be the same your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality get the a visit to chronos conference dvd on